Hi there, everybody. My name is Crystal Nisho, and the point of my little kind of show isn't to teach you anything. It's basically me just rambling on about the things that I've learned. So if you do learn something, that's great. And if you don't, I'm really sorry that you just wasted like five minutes or so watching my dumb ass talking about something that you already knew. My boyfriend and I are currently staying with some friends. We're kind of camping out on their living room floor. And the other night we were trying to sleep, and we couldn't. Why? Because we felt like we were being stared at by this. Now, this is called a bad taste bear. But it really looks one hell of a lot like Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th. And if you take off his mask, he's actually kind of cute. See? He's really cute, actually. Look at that. See? But with the mask on, he really does look like he's some mask murderer from Friday the 13th. Now, I didn't even know that Jason's last name was Voorhees until my boyfriend Richie told me that it was, like a few days ago, which kind of made me feel really stupid, but I just really don't pay attention to mass murder or surnames, I'm sorry. Um, but after that, we started talking about other murderers from um, horror movies, so that there's like um, the Candyman, um, Chucky from Child's Play, Freddy Krueger, um, and of course Michael Myers. Not to be confused with the actor Mike Myers, the kind of goofy one who voices Shrek and plays as Austin Powers. No, he's unfortunately, well, fortunately, it's a good thing, but he's not the mask murderer who comes from Halloween. Um, now, I've seen my share of scary movies, um, so I obviously know that um, Michael Myers wears a creepy mask. What I didn't know, though, was that the mask he's wearing is actually supposed to be a William Shatner. If you don't know who William Shatner is, he's the actor. He plays in um, Star Trek. He plays Airplane 2. He even does those kind of lame little Priceline.com commercials. Priceline, negotiator. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but whatever. Um, but yeah, I just don't see how it goes from this kind of cute little old out little man to like bam serial killer I just don't get it um, um, another thing that I learned is actually about porcupines everybody knows what a porcupine is it's a kind of cute little rodent that has those quills so you stay the hell away from them so that they don't shove quills up your ass you know what I mean so what I actually learned was how they mate it's kind of disgusting but if it works for them good for them, but it's not something that I would ever do myself, ever. Um, basically starts off with a male porcupine walking around, all horny, kind of pining after the female porcupine, and he makes his intentions clear, and if he thinks that the female's going to accept, he stands up on his hind legs, stands about six feet away from her, and releases this stream of urine that wets her down from nose to tail. That's some pretty sick foreplay. <laughs> um, but from there, it goes on. If the female accepts, if she decides, yeah, I'm going to do it with this male porcupine who just urinated all over me, she'll lift up her tail and put it top flat down against her back because the underside of her tail has no quills. So the male will walk up to her on his hind legs, put his forelegs, on her tail so he doesn't touch anything and gets stabbed by her quills. And then they'll go at it. So basically when she lifts up her tail, it's basically like, hey, there's my badge. Have a field day. And he does. Because porcupines are only in the mood for 8 to 12 hours in a year, um, he's pretty much releasing a year's worth of jizz into her at once. And because the act only lasts about two to five minutes, they keep doing it as many times as they can until that window of opportunity of horniness dissipates. Now, the last little tidbit of oh-so-vital information I'm going to share with you today actually is in Western America, in the U.S., um, in Utah, the home state of Roseanne Barr, Donnie and Marie Osmond, and J. Willard Marriott, the founder of Marriott Hotel. Now, in Utah, it's actually legal for you to get a license to hunt, get this, um, dinosaurs. Um, so, the reason why this is is because there's actually a museum in Vernal, Utah, 
and you can, it's like has dinosaurs and stuff in it. So I'm pretty sure that it's kind of just a little haha joke, but it is actually a legitimate license. So if you're walking down the street and you happen to stumble upon a prehistoric reptile, you are actually allowed to hunt and kill it if you have the license. Even though the archaeologists who have been trying to prove that they've been around would probably kick your ass. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but dinosaurs have been extinct for 65 million years, so the chances of you finding a dinosaur to hunt and kill is pretty slim to none. That's all you need to know. Thanks to the